Hello! Welcome back to Excuse, Excuse My, My Friend. Friend. I'm Julia. I'm Alexis. Hello. Hello, people. everybody. I um I am sitting here waiting for a text back from a friend of ours. I want to know if this guy that I've been liking for two years <laughs> is officially single. Okay? And this guy is friends with our friend. So that is why. He might be single and I'm losing my mind. I would go over there tonight. 100%. I know you were, you were saying that before we pressed record. And I was like, <sighs> you are really that. Yeah. Like, what is it about this guy? Because I feel like you don't get flustered over men. I don't so get what flustered over him? men. And also I'm very <laughs> like, no, you can work for it. But for, there's something about him where I literally, I kid you, you not. You get if, in the car and drive. Well, he lives an yeah, hour away now. I don't care. You're, if he said, if he, if our friend said he is <laughs> single, no girlfriend, thousand percent. I have been wanting to be with this guy <laughs> for two years. Since we moved here. And yeah. like, we totally had a connection, I feel like. And why didn't you guys connect back then? Um, I felt like I was kind of seeing this guy. And I'm very oh, like, when right. I'm committed, I'm committed. It's good and bad, I guess. No, it's a good no, thing. No, it's good. It's good. I know, I'm just <laughs> saying, though. It's like, it's not like I ha- was in a full-blown relationship. I was just kind of committed to this other right, guy. Right, so you didn't like fully go right, in and Right, and so what, I just felt like yeah. it wasn't right. And then the second I ended things with that guy, all of a sudden, I was like, the first person I hit up was him. And I was like, please still be single. I'm like, da, da, da. He's like, me and my girlfriend just moved in with each other. I'm like, no. Yeah, he found a girlfriend. And he's like, he's a solid guy. So he's he's probably going to marry her. Unless they broke up. Cause, right? Because our friend. I'm trying to figure that out. Because he's like a known creator. <sighs> but he he won't give us an answer. What's he, what did he say? I don't know. He's just sending a voice memo and like not talking about the guy, but it's like, it, are you wait, wait, single? Can we talk about his response when you were like, cause we're all going <laughs> to hang out and you go is beep going. And he goes, wait, where is, where is it? Oh, okay. You go is beep going. And then I'm not saying his name. And then he didn't answer. Then you go, does he still have a girlfriend? And then he goes, and then our friend goes, you're still interested in him two years later, Alexis, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. He's probably like, get over it. Because I, life. what's wild is I'm so not this girl. I'm so not, I'm never into anyone. So the fact that I'm into this guy, okay, says a lot. And that could be trouble because I don't want to end up with him. I just want to sleep with him. Why don't you want to end up with him? He's a s- solid guy. Um, no. It's because of his job. <laughs> <laughs> if he let's be real if no. he was a ceo no. or a doctor or something well would, that would definitely help for sure i mean yeah like, I just, up, like he's so sweet no he's adorable but i need more than just sweet like you gotta like i don't know yeah yeah I just yeah I, you guys that. did connect and didn't he like try to take you out for dinner and drinks at the time yep. but you were seeing somebody else but i was seeing someone else so i was like um, you know what no if but it's meant to be i just want will. to go sleep with him i just want to sleep with him i want to have one night but i feel like if that happens and he gets you there you're gonna fall in love i know and you don't like his job so <laughs> there's that <laughs> it's terrible con- i didn't confirm or deny that, um then that means though. but <laughs> i don't know but that's the thing though i probably would fall in love because i'd be like oh my gosh that's this is I'm the saying. first guy that's ever like why do you think we go it. back to guys that aren't good for us so then i Hello, think oh that's true to it. so maybe the universe is really trying to protect me and just like be like nope but he's not a bad guy to end up with is what i'm saying i know but for me personally i need more I just long term. I need more. I know what yeah. I want. This is what I expect. That's it. Bada boom, oh, bada bing. Good. Good. I'm not confirming or denying anything. I'm just saying it's important to yeah. me. It's important to me. Just like sure. certain things are important to you that aren't important to me. Same thing. Yeah. So it's like everyone's everyone's different. so different. And so I just. Anyways, I am going to be looking at my phone the whole time because <laughs> I really want to know. Like, are you single? So next week we'll have to update everyone. Yeah. To what the answer is, or we might get the answer during this episode. True. We've been, do- we've we, been we were bugging our friends. So. Also, 
on the same subject about ex-boyfriends and just random guys in my life currently. Um, my ex-boyfriend, who I've talked about a lot, we've called, you've heard about him. I love the weekly updates. The on one this, that the has way. a girlfriend that I still talk to, not in a creepy, bad way. I'm not a homewrecker, but they're not even official. So, like, whatever. Um, anywho, he, I haven't told you, told you this story. I know so the first time I hear all the updates is on the show, so I love yeah, it. Yeah, because I figure it's better to have it on camera. Right, like, the initial talk about it. Or, yeah, reaction. So, she has a kid. How old? I think I told you that. She's 18. Okay. He also, let me tell you, this guy that I dated, he was way older than me. Way older than me. Like Taught. 15 years older than I me. Like older. I like a little bit, but not that much. Um, but like, yeah, he was a lot older than than me. So this this woman, she has an 18 year old. Okay. Uh -huh. And he was does like, does he like that? Or does he want, because he wants kids, right? He does. But he loves that she's 18 because he's like, he's well, not I don't have to worry about any of the bullshit that comes <laughs> with it. That's true. And um, so I guess they were at some, some house for some oyster party or something like that. Okay. And a apparently she went to the bathroom and he went and followed her to the bathroom. And I guess they had a makeout sesh near the bathroom. Was this at a restaurant or like a house? Like a house. Okay. They apparently had a makeout sesh that it matters, near the bathroom. Okay. The guy and her. And the daughter walked past while they were doing that. Yeah, that's how he met her daughter. That was is, the very first time mm -hmm, that he mm -hmm. met the daughter. And I said, how was that? Was that awkward? He's like, oh, uh, yeah, just a little bit. As like the I'm, mom's tongue is down yeah, her, his throat. I'm making yeah. out with her mom. And she's like, oh, by the way, this is, you know, da 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 My reaction was like, that's amazing. Like, I'm so glad, like, it went well. At least she was accepting of it. And, like, we got off the subject. No big deal. I didn't ask uh -huh. a million questions. I just kind of You didn't whatever. ask a million questions? Nope. I'm shocked. I just want to see. And so we're talking about something else. And literally five minutes later, he goes... So, like, that doesn't upset you? I'm like, you little shit. You're trying to get me going. You're trying to make me jealous. So you think that that didn't really happen, the make-out? I don't know. He's not really a maker-outer. I don't see him as the type to make out in front of people or, like... It wasn't, though. It was, like, it was like but near the bathroom. But still, like, near the bathroom, you're out in public or at someone yeah. else's. Like, I wouldn't even... Do, like, unless, was he drinking? When you're drunk, you're a little more, like... He said he had a know, beer, free. but, like... I don't know if I believe it or not. So you think he like wanted. But then again, when he's really you. into a girl, especially at the beginning, he is more like touchy feely, more into it. Just every guy. I mean, every relationship. But so anyways, I don't know. But I was like, I was like, I was like, I don't because I, I mean, I was like, I don't care. And he's like, oh, that doesn't like upset you that uh -huh. like, you know, hearing that or that I made out with her or whatever. I'm like, you're trying to make me jealous. Yeah, what the like, hell? Why are you trying to upset me? Yeah. And well, we all know at this point that he still has feelings for you. So there's that. A million percent. Um, and yeah. that's so funny. A hinge guy just texted me right now. Look at you on the hinge and still talking to your ex. I know. There's a lot of male potential energy around me. Two year ago, potential <laughs> guy. Ow. What is in the air for you? I don't know. What is in the air? I don't know. Oh, it's good. You're like it's the bachelorette. Yes. yes there we go i like the vibe. i saw this um tiktok where this girl she invited all of her like hinge matches to the same bar at the <gasps> same time so there was like 10 guys oh, and it was incredible. just like i created my own like i'm the bachelorette oh I my, my own, god like, it's so funny i was like i want to do, do that but like i was thinking about it and like I, and i haven't watched the bachelor bachelorette in a while um i don't know if i could do it like to be the bachelorette and have all the guys like why i don't know you do if it? i would like it why not i don't know like i would i would probably get like overwhelmed here's what you, like, here's here's know. what you would do i think you wouldn't be able to handle it because you get so fixated on someone that you would meet the guy and be like i don't care about the rest That's i just want to hang out with the one i would find the one yeah. and be done yeah. like i don't know yep. and then i i don't like hurting people's feelings or making them feel bad so i'd like have a hard time like like letting people go where i'd probably like go on dates just to be nice like i don't know i just don't want to hurt people's feelings i agree with that i think i'd have a fine time doing i know it. you would That's i'd be like, like this is this is up my alley like i don't yeah. know i like this kind of stage where you have multiple guys yeah. and like you can talk to multiple <laughs> i would be like claire did you watch claire's season when she met no. dale and she's like i want him i don't care about anyone else and then they like she got off the show and they brought in Tasia. Oh yeah, yeah. We that would be that one, me. Yeah. I would find the one. He'd probably yep. be the a hole. Yep. And 
That um, is so you. Yep. Anyway, I just thought it was really funny that that girl did that. And I would be the one on The Bachelorette where it's like, dun, dun, dun. She did not get engaged to anyone. <laughs> totally, totally. And I would be the one getting engaged to the one that isn't good for me. And then we break up. And yeah, love that. Love that. My, um... Catching up with you. My family was in town. I know I haven't like hung out with you or talked to you I in a know, while because your family is in yeah. town. I had some family in town for a couple of days. Yeah. So we're, we're we're catching up. Yeah. You're watching and hearing this live. Capturing as the we're catch up. Catching up. But um, I had family in town and my cousin who just recently turned 21. Um, she was in town and we started talking about like fake IDs and stuff because she like at one point had a fake ID. And it looked so legit. Oh my gosh. Like everything about it even scanned and everything. What? Oh, where yeah. did she get Her it? Guys, Just like some person she knew. Her ex boyfriend that had a lot of money. Um, oh, okay. And somehow got it all uh, figured out. Anyways, and so um, she just turned 21. So we went down to the bars, or whatever. And I, we went to this one in Boys Town. <laughs> yeah. The most wild thing ever. Just and rowdy. My rumba, rumba family party. is so like, yeah, yeah you guys party, get down. Party. That's why when you guys, in, <laughs> you like texted me, you're like, do you want to come out with us? I was like, I'm tired. I'm in bed watching Netflix. No, I have to show you some of these videos. And my aunt, my mom were both like, we're here for it, but we're a little uncomfortable. This guy bought all of us shots at the bar and my aunt was shitting. My aunt's Wait, like, oh my God. you and your family, like you and your mom and aunts, every time you go out, I feel like you attract yes. free drinks. It's wild. It's so fun. And then everywhere you go, you guys make friends and just get like, it like rains free drinks you on know you what's guys, wild? so cool. It's not us youngsters. It's not my cousin and I. It's my mom and my aunt. It's your mom. Your mom gets so much attention. It's weird. And same with my aunt. And my, but my mom doesn't like it. Like these so, these guys at the bar were like, you're so beautiful. My mom goes, oh, no, no. Let me tell you all the reasons why I'm not. I'm just like, why don't you just say thank you? And right. Like right. Just it. accept like, a compliment. But my aunt's like that, too, which I find that very interesting. Um, and anyways, so we went to this we went to this bar. We got free drinks. And my aunt was like shitting. She's like, oh, my God. So she turned. She goes, why was she like, oh, my gosh, just like everyone was so young. It was yeah. so rowdy. It was like she's all about that. But I think she was like, this is so not my like yeah. crowd or cup of tea. Like she was down to still be there and have a good time. But she didn't want to take the shot. She's not a shot drinker. Mm -hmm. um, she's a drinker, but not a shot drinker. <laughs> and so then she like. She leans over and she goes, I think your mom and I are going to go get ice cream now. <laughs> that would be me. I think I'm going to go get a latte. And I was like, nope. And so I'll have to I'll have to show you some of the videos. You would you would have hated your life. The best part about getting free drinks from the bartenders, you don't got to like stick around and like chit chat with the bartender because they are busy. Totally but when it's from like busy. randoms that you're not interested in, it's yep. like, I'll take this free drink, but I feel obligated to talk to you. Um, but you guys, no, your yeah. family, you guys get down. Oh, we're just such a fun I, time. The thought of like partying with my mom, my, like that's never been like, a, like my sisters. Yeah. But like with my like parents or mom, like, I don't know. That's so not. Totally. Every family is so different. Like I think yeah. about that and I'm like, how is my family like this? But we just love to have a good time. And like, I love yeah. it. My family are my favorite people. I think more than my ex-boyfriends. Like <laughs> I love them. I, yeah. I don't know. I just had the best time, but we were talking about fake IDs and my cousin has had three cause she's gotten a few of them taken away. And oh, my aunt, she said she did not have a fake. They just borrowed from other people that had blonde hair back in the day or that oh, looked kind of like them. Yeah, when she was younger. And then my mom, because she was party hardy when she was younger, she would do the same thing. But what she said was she would take like a safety pin and like scratch out the dates or scratch out certain things so that way they couldn't really read it. And I'm like, that's They're like, wild. what does this say? Okay, yeah, just go ahead. It's just insane how much like the fake IDs have like evolved. Oh my god! Over the years, yeah. and have you? Did you have a fake ID? No, my sister just gave me her old ID, oh, so I use my you're sister's. Lucky. Um, and I didn't use it that often, but I, like, this is so lame. But do you remember Desert Ridge, the mall yes. Desert Ridge in Scottsdale? There was a mall, and on Friday and Saturday nights, you had to be like over sixteen to hang out at the mall. Otherwise, you needed like an adult with you because they had a bunch of hooligans just hanging mm -hmm. out, not buying things. So I would like whip out my sister's ID and like I felt so cool because I'd be with my friends and be like, I got this. I'm 18. Like, so I use my sister's ID for that. <sighs> and then I would use it at hookah bars and I like try to flex that and I'm like, 
I'm 18. I'm 18. And then I think a couple times I went out with you with it. Uh-huh. And one time the guy knew and he's just like, and he like let me in. Yeah. Um, so luckily I never got busted or anything. Cause I think nowadays you can get in a lot of trouble for that. Um, but yeah, that was my fake ID. It was my sister's. What yeah. about you? I never had a fake ID cause I never well, went out. Never I never drank. drank. I didn't drink till yeah. I was really 22. I mean, I had a sip of alcohol my 21st birthday. That was it. So yeah. I never had a fake ID. So when people talk about these fake ID stories, I'm like, oh, I kind of want that story. Like I kind of really? want that like thrill of like, can I get in? Can oh, I can I do in? that? Can I whatever? And yeah. it's, there's something like so thrilling. Did you ever go down a mill? Like yeah. Tempe mill area. So I was dating a guy. Um, so mill Avenue is like, like, like the col- like college town. Like, like a, yeah, college, like a college like a strip town, of bars. strip of bars. Yeah. It's like the it place to go. I was dating a guy that was older than me. He was in a fraternity. And um, I went with him and Emily and a few other people. And we're standing in line. Everything's going great. I get to the bouncer person. And they're like, oh, we need your ID. So I give him my ID, my real freaking ID. Uh-huh. And he was like checking it. And he's like going like this to make sure. And like they didn't have a, they didn't have a scanner. And he's like, you got, you got to go. I'm throwing this out. He you got to go. Was, oh, I remember, remember this. He thought it was yes. fake. And I was like, what? And he's like, nope, out. He was such a dick. He was like, your ID, done, gone. You're at your whole crowd. None of you can come in. None of but you. you were actually And 21. I was like, wait, I'm, tw- I'm 21. This is a real ID. He's like, it's not a real ID. He was in my face wow. about it. And I was like, I swear. So he brought other bouncers out. Okay. Uh-huh. And they all were checking and they were like, no, this isn't. And they said, if you don't leave, we're going to call the cops. I said call the cops this is my what do you ID. think happened so i said call the cops conrad everyone they're all like call the cops so the cops came but they were the cops on the horses uh-huh so the two cop co- cop horses come Drama. and a cop car and a cop car so the lights are going the horses oh are there so bigger problems yeah Ish. and so then the bouncers were like this is a fake id and the cops like went and did their whole thing in their car or whatever and they're like no this is very much real I would have been like in your face. I, I was wanna, loving it. I though. wouldn't even want to go in after that. Like I was like, this is great. So this then is like what? Did, like the bouncers. Oh my like, god, okay, they were in. they felt so bad. They should have given you free drinks the whole night. They gave our entire group free drinks, bottle service, and everything okay, the rest good, of the night. Good. Just because of that. And well, I was yeah, like, this is great. I'm like, you can do this all day long at yeah. every bar, get free drinks. I bet you're feeling good when the cops were like, um, this is real. Yeah. You guys suck. I was like, what? This is even a fake. Anyways, yeah. so it just made me think of that. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any stories like that. I don't. And I didn't even use mine much for like going out to the clubs because I didn't go out that that much. It was more for like at Desert Ridge Mall and like <laughs> hookah bars. Desert um, Ridge Mall. I know that was like that's such a weird rule like I don't know if they still have that but yeah it is still in place so weird so weird I'm like whoa there's like a curfew so that was your weekend with your family yep um I went to Universal Studios this weekend for the first time ever well when I was a kid my family we took a trip and we went on like the city walk so I have a Uh picture of myself in front of like the big sphere the universal yep. sphere and then on the red carpet so i was like i want to be on a red carpet but this time i got to actually go to the park and i it was really fun but i don't love rides <laughs> but i was like i'm gonna conquer my fears and like go on some rides the very first ride i went on was a harry potter ride um and it was one of those where they like pull down the straps on you and like you're locked in. And that's when I knew I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to do like flips. And I, I do not like rides that go upside down and do flips. So I'm already like getting claustrophobic. As soon as the ride starts, we're like going up, up, up. We're up in the air. The ride stops and gets <laughs> stuck. And they go on the speaker. They're like, oh, sorry for the inconvenience, but the ride just stalled. Just sit tight. We'll get up and running shortly. Yay. And so I am just freaking out because my legs are dangling i'm up in the air i'm strapped in this thing i'm already like i I don't i'm very claustrophobic i don't like elevators i don't like airplane bathrooms i I freak out like my hands are getting sweaty talking about it um so we're up there for like 30 minutes and i'm like i start crying i just was like i was so upset i was crying (laughs) no but you hear about that's like dangerous i know but you were upside down you're probably you're probably like two feet off the damn ground you're like oh my god no we were like up in the air so (laughs) then then the ride like finally starts going again and the whole time i'm just like panicked because i'm like god forbid like we get up and we're upside down and it gets stuck oh, yeah, I'd, I'd get off that is you would get off yeah how do you get off 
No, I'm saying if they finally get you back down. They didn't. So what happened? The ride just started. Oh. So the ride had already gone a little bit. We got stuck. And then they, I don't know, they pressed play on it. And then it just, the ride pressed continued. <laughs> they didn't like get us down. The ride just continued to go. So did you flip? There was flips. Yes. Oh, there was so the flips? whole time. Yes. That's why they have. The I'm things proud of on you, you to go that you went, though. I didn't know it did. I tried not to look and see what the rides were. before. You didn't Other see the ride, ride outside. It's inside. Normally, it's an inside oh, ride. That's why. in the Harry Potter okay. castle. And so the, as the ride is going, I'm just like tearing up, like thinking, oh, my gosh, it's going to get stuck again. I'm going to be upside down. The head's going to the blood's going to rush to my head. I'm going to die. On a Harry Potter ride. I don't even like Harry Potter. It was fine. The ride continued. Did you we were have fun? Good. On the ride? No. Oh. So I got off and they're like, hey, if you want to go back, do a re-ride, <laughs> come this way. We'll put you back on. I, I was shaking. A re-ride. I like, was like, I am not going. I was, and that was the very first ride I went on. And I was so like freaked out. But I was like, I'm not going to let it ruin my time at Universal. So I went on other rides. But I... It's just you always hear about that, like rides getting stuck. And I, that's like my fear. I don't know if I manifested it, but I like that's my thing is like getting stuck on it. You yeah, know what I mean? I so, ask you to go on my rides with me. The simplest rides and you're shaking. So I'm impressed that you went on any ride. So not did you feel like you conquered your fear? Are we done with the ride? No, here's the thing. Fearing I, now. I when I was a kid, I loved roller coasters. So what happened? Like I went to Six Flags. I think when you're a kid, you're more fearless. And when you're an adult, you start to think of like what could really go wrong. Like as a kid, you don't think, oh my gosh, this is kind of like dangerous. But you were fine. I got stuck on a ride. Uh, you're here. Hello. I know. Hi, how are you? I'm just saying. <laughs> like you hear about that. But anyway, sh I'm not sharing this story to like instill fear in anyone, but I was fine. I didn't go back on it. And Universal was really fun. I went on some other rides. I went into the Nintendo World. Um, and the food at Universal is way better than the food at Disney. I'm just saying. Ooh, yeah. competition. I like, so I was with some friends and I was like, I'm not going to pay $40 for a burger, like, you know, overpriced because they like jack up the prices yeah, so course. much. So I packed up sandwiches. I brought like 10 water bottles. I had it in a backpack because water bottles are like $6 there. So I just like had my own food and snacks, but I got, um, some ice cream and little treats throughout the day. But how anyway. did you go on rides with the backpack? Um, okay, so the one, the ride that I got stuck on, they made everyone put their stuff in lockers. How much was that? It was five dollars. Oh. Okay. And I was like so mad. I was like, why are they making us put our stuff in lockers? And then when I got on it, I was like, oh, okay, because you're literally dangling. There's nowhere to put it. Yeah. The other rides, um, you could just bring your backpack on oh, with you. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, just like have it at your feet because. All the other like roller coasters and rides there, I didn't mind because it wasn't like a th like a a thing that goes over you. It was like a bar on your lap, and that's like those ones. I'm like, okay, I know we're not doing flips. Like I'm good. And a lot of them were like fake roller coasters where it's like they just have like a screen yeah. and it's like a VR kind of thing. And I was like, okay, we're good. If something happens, we're not like we're good. We're just here, just kind of shaking around. I went to but. Universal Studios when I was younger, and that was the first time I ever saw Paris Hilton. And she was filming there. So I was with Emily. We're in the back of the tram th or the thing. Where, oh, like, you on the, the, tour. the studio tour. That we the went studio on that. tours. Yeah. We we're on a studio tour and we're in the very back. And Emily goes, is that Paris Hilton? And I was like, oh, my God, it is. And Emily goes, that's hot. And then Paris is like, that's hot. And I was like, that is so <laughs> funny. Yeah. So what in person? Is she just as stunning? Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I never understood it. Uh -huh. I think she's so. I think she's prettier now than when she was younger. Really, I do. Yeah. I think I actually. Gracefully. I actually really, really like Paris Hilton. The mm -hmm. more that I get to know her in her yeah. documentaries, she's not as like ditzy and dumb as people think, yeah. and she has grown such a freaking business for herself. Yeah, and I'm so impressed, and I'm totally a Paris Hilton fan. Yeah, I saw this video where she was like, she did her little voice, and she's like, I that's hot, and then she was like, okay, let's get to the issues. Like, I was like, okay, like that's not her real voice; it was yeah. just a character. She talks about that in yeah. some of her stuff. They're doing. A reboot. I saw that. Of The Simple, the Simple Life. Life. Yeah. And I, I commented on one of her their pictures, and I was like, you need us on there. That'd be hilarious. Let's I'm put like, it out there. Come on. Collab with like, Paris and, and Nicole Richie's back on it, right? Yeah. Because I think, I don't know, I was like, I didn't really watch it. So we were so young. young. My sister watched it. I think, didn't her, um, it was Paris's sister that did it with her? I have no Nikki, idea. And then I don't, I don't remember. In other news, I know you're a big Southwest girl. How do you feel about them changing from open seating to assigned seating? No, I'm pissed. I love the open seating. 
Really? Yes. Yeah. I love the open seating because Why? when there's not a lot of people on the flight, like my mom just flew back home. She said there was only 60 people on the flight. She had an entire row to herself. Yeah. She could p- park. She could sit wherever she wants. Yeah. And I love to just walk on and be like, you know what? I want a window seat today. You know what? I want an aisle seat today. I don't like assigned seating. I don't like to be told what to do. I think that's my problem. <laughs> I do, Don't tell me what to do and how to do it. Don't do it. Yeah. It's great if you're in like the first boarding group or if the flight is empty, but if there's a ton of people and then when you're the last boarding group and like all the bins are taken up and there's like nowhere to sit and it's like, do I sit here? Do I sit here? Like, but it's, what is it? It, it reminds me of like being a kid and going on the school bus. You have a and higher like, chance of getting a better seat for yourself than when you're assigned a seat. When you're assigned a seat, unless you pay extra, your ass might be sitting in that middle seat. That's not true. Every time I've flown Southwest, I get ended up with a middle seat. And then every other airline, I don't pay for to pick my seat. So where do you sit? I usually in the aisle or the window. Like sometimes I'll get a middle seat, sure. But like this last time I had an aisle, which the aisle is my favorite. So... I don't know. It's just like, it gives me anxiety. Like, just tell me where to sit and I will sit there. It also opens the door for like drama and people to be jerks and like try to reserve rows for themselves. And like, I do I that all the time. That's what I'm saying. Like, and I people like, are I put my bag up, up all the time. Something fierce on these flights. Okay. I see all the videos. Like it's bad. Does anyone else do that? Like when, when you're on a flight, especially Southwest and you don't want someone to sit next to you, I literally will put my purse or whatever I have in the center like the seat next to me just to make sure people know don't sit there and i've like i've knock on wood i've had good success well with it. that's why i don't like open seat because people like you guys <laughs> it's like then no, be smart it's, it's called being fair. smarter no it's not fair like just have it be equal tell us where to sit we're good no. like it's I, fair game i that's why i am so like that's one of the reasons i avoid i i don't know i try not to fly southwest i'm like it, it i literally get like where in my head i'm like where am i gonna sit this person, this person, this person looks friendly. This person looks scary. I don't know. It's like I too much. love Southwest. I'm a Southwest girly. Yeah. And I, you know why? Because they like also Delta, let Delta you. Southwest also lets you um, bring two checked bags with you and a carry on bag. Hello. Most of the time and you got to pay extra for that shit. I don't ever check in bags. So like that doesn't impress me. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's I'm like, I don't care about your checked bag, Southwest. <laughs> no, okay. I still that. fly Southwest, but like, I'm a Delta girly. Like, I, I, so I have like miles with Delta, and I randomly, like, out of nowhere, I think there was a glitch on their app. They automatically updated me to like platinum status. So I enjoy the perks of like, um, like the free internet, boarding group A, like picking picking my seat when I check in. I think they caught on because then I got put back down to Silver Medallion. No. But for a while, I enjoyed the perks of Delta. And I want to get a Delta credit card and, like, do the lounges. Like, I feel like the flight lounges would totally be my jam. So, oh, my God. For me, they wouldn't be worth it. Because I, the less I have to be at the airport and wait around and sit around the better like i will show up 30 minutes before my flight and like run to the freaking gate i'm not trying to get there and sit around and do the thing no i'm not doing that so for me that that. would not work out for you i could see yeah i like it even though i have pre-check i try to give myself plenty of time and like the these lounges they have food coffee like you don't gotta pay 15 dollars for a sandwich that tastes like socks like have i missed flights no i've never missed a flight in my life yes you have in miami one time there's one time in miami and I gave myself so much time. No, in Denver, not that it long snowed. ago. Be, no, because it you snowed. said that you were. It, it took too long, and you missed the flight. No, I or didn't. Like, I've never missed a flight from Denver. I hundred percent have never missed a flight from Denver. It was the snow. Um, but Miami, I gave myself plenty of time. Got in the Uber, but it was Art Basel, so the roads were literally like you couldn't move because the whole it was Art Basel, like the biggest whatever art festival. So there's no way. That's why. I want to get, like, a credit card and, like, do the lounge thing. Because I feel like that is... There's, like, showers in there. There's, like, nap What the pods. fuck do you need to do that for? You just came from, like, home. Why it's do you good. need to go well, there? I travel and a lot. Like, you have, like, layovers. Or if you travel a lot. First like, of all, you don't like layovers. Neither do I. So what's that doing? I'm just saying, if you have a layover... I know, but you specifically don't do layovers, right? And Sometimes do you have I. no choice. Like, I'm going to go to Maine. I have to do a layover. There's no flights that don't have layovers. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Why that are you works, fighting me? That I works for you, lounge. but I just like, do not understand the lounges. That's Because okay. it's just so... I mean, I understand it if you I enjoy... I don't understand your love for open seating. 
I know. I, what I'm saying is like, it's fine. Everyone calm down. <laughs> okay. Speaking of flights, though, I want to talk about this. This woman caught a guy cheating on his wife during the flight. She filmed it and said, if this is your man, he is going home with Katie tonight. He had a wedding ring on. Long story short, during the flight, they ended up making out. The fact that this woman watched them so closely. Good for her. Before the flight, during the flight, after the flight. Hats off. It's too much. No, that is me. 100%. I am the biggest observer you'll probably ever meet. I know exactly what's going on 24 7 in my life. Anywhere around me, I feel like I'd be that girl. And the girl was filming like this. She was sneaky about it, like how we are. She was like this. And like slowly, you could see that he was like taking a shirt off at one point. On the plane? Yes. It was, it's so bizarre. So these you clips. are that fascinated by strangers? By, like, people around you, like... Oh, my God. But I grew up that way. My whole family, like, even when my family was just here, they're like, well, let's go to that place because we get people watch the best there. That's so funny. Yeah. See, I don't... I'm, like, focused on, like, myself. Like, I'm aware of my surroundings. <gasps> I focus on myself. No, like, I'm aware of my surroundings for safety, but I don't... No offense, but, like, I don't care to look at, like, what other people are doing. Like, it doesn't affect me. And, like, I don't know. I just don't get it. Like, if I saw... Okay, good for you. This guy's at a bar with a girl. Like, I don't... How does... Okay, here's the thing. She sees this guy at a bar with a girl. He has a ring on. How does she not know that that's his wife? But she started overhearing their conversation. That's how she found out. And so this girl, being a girl's girl, was like, hey, if this is your man, by the way. And to be honest wow. with you, you I would do that. that. that was your man. You I would. would do, yeah, I would. I would be like... It's yeah, none of my like business. Oh, and then in the video, they even say how they started making out. And then they ended up going to the bathroom together in the back of the cabin. Okay, I don't understand the Mile High Club and going to the bathroom. I can't even fit in the bathroom myself, and I'm a skinny girl. Like, how do two people fit in an airplane bathroom to get it on? I'm just saying. Like, how? I don't know, but I think I it's would, so like, fascinating. I would so totally do that. <laughs> yeah, I, isn't that scary to think, though, nowadays – Anybody can just pull out their phone and like film whatever. Like it's just scary. Like at any time. For example, I this is a long time ago. I was doing a workout class, and when I work out, I'm not one of those hot girls that like gets all dolled up when they work out. I'm wearing like old Sophie shorts and a dirty old T-shirt from uh -huh. high school, and no makeup old and glasses. Old Sophie shorts. I haven't heard that in forever. And, wow. Um, and so I'm like in the back row, you know, trying to keep up in this class. And this girl is just the whole time like filming herself. And like, I happen to be like in her shot. And I just was like, I'm here to like work out and get sweaty and like be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care to be in, like, I'm a creator. I get it. You know what I mean? But I just like for myself, I'm like, I'm probably on her Snapchat story right now as I'm struggling to do push ups and dance and keep up. So you just that's like, what I'm talking like about. You seem like an old woman Karen. Like, who no, I totally am. Uh, I am such hell? an old woman Karen. Like, I'm a 70 year old trapped in like a 20 year old. We're hypocrites because we do that shit. When we film, there's tons of people around us. They probably don't want to be on camera. I know, but we're not on a so workout like, class. And I'm like, <gasps> like gross and trying to keep up. I am an old 70-year-old Karen. When I, I went to Air One You're the other day. Karen. I went to Air One and we got smoothies. And they were like, okay, it's going to be about 30 minutes because we're so busy. So we're like, okay, 30 minutes. I set, I set a timer for 20 minutes. And we went and like, walked around and oh hung out because I don't want to stand at Air One <laughs> for 30 minutes waiting for a smoothie. So at the 20-minute mark, I went back. And our smoothies are sitting there, like, half melted. And if you've been to Air One, it's, like, $22 for a smoothie. So, like, 45 bucks worth of smoothie. I'm not trying. I want to enjoy it. I want to love it. So I was like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, we were told 30 minutes. This is, like, melted, okay? Like, and they're like, okay, we'll remake it. I was very nice about it. But I was like, if I'm going to pay $22 for a smoothie, I, I mean, want to yeah, love it. Have a fresh. Way. And, like, don't tell me 30 minutes. And it's like, you know when it sits, it gets, like, you know... Anyway, I, I mean, I'm a Karen. Technically, you probably should have just stayed because there, there's probably a chance that it could have been just. Done but that's earlier. why she said 30 minutes. I set a timer for 20, but like, don't tell me 30 minutes. And then I don't want to stand at the bar for 30 minutes and be like, where's my smoothie? Don't be impatient, Karen. I'm not impatient. Wow. But I don't want to stand at this place for I, this long. It's 30 fucking minutes for I, your smoothies. 30 ass. minutes first. Would you wait 30 minutes for a smoothie? Yeah, we did. Didn't we the last time? It, it wasn't, wasn't that 30. Long. I'm just saying, I think I'm justified in it, though. I was very nice about it. I was like, I don't want to drink this if it's like melted and not the full experience. You I mean, know? Yeah, for $22, right. you better so, hook it up. I don't know. So I don't think that was like wrong of me. And I kept saying, I'm sorry. Thank you. Like, I try to be like nice.
But I am. I'm, what did your I'm friend say? What grandma. did your friend like? Let's just drink it. My friend it. was like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm like, it's yeah. not fine. Because as I sipped it, I got angrier and angrier. Like there was smoke coming out of my ears. I'm like, no, these are $20 smoothies. And my friend was like, it's fine. I'm like, no, give me that. Here's what I see at Ear One. A lot of people with like pet strollers like sometimes i'm like oh there's some like cute little couple like with their baby and then i look and it's like a dog which i can't <laughs> say anything because my mom does that with with her dog but i see i'm seeing it more and more um especially it's so hot for the dogs to totally walk the but like i think nowadays they're saying people have more like dogs as they're like Instead of kids, kids, yeah. Plus instead it's so of kids, expensive to survive and True. have kids. Yeah, and I see that at a lot of Air One. It's hilarious. It's so cute. Yeah. And this just came up on my feed for me. It says in South Korea in 2023, more pet strollers were sold than baby strollers. Oh, so they ha- they're specific. They're pet strollers. Oh yeah, they're I dog thought, strollers. I thought they were just taking baby strollers and putting no. They're actual that pet strollers. That is so funny. I've never had a pet, so I don't get it. I don't know. When I see that, I'm like, but I don't know. Tweets their own. Like, it's so cute. But yeah, I used to not get it. My mom used to not get it. And guess what? Now she's the one doing it. You know why? Because she has no grandchild. That's <laughs> so probably I think, why. I think she's like, okay, I'll just pretend like this dog's my child. Right, right. My grandchild. Yeah. It's funny. It's just funny seeing people like with their dog and their thing. Yeah, they're like, oh, I, let's I, go look at the baby. But I'm being I love hypocrite. babies. And then it's like, oh, it's a dog. I know. I'm like, oh, there's a puppy. But I see a lot of that at Air One and it's totally. really funny. And I I don't know. Part of me, like when I go to Air One, I I like I like to go sit, have a smoothie, and try to meet someone because there's a lot of hot guys that go to Air One. And I'm like, okay, yeah. they're like minded, they're into healthy food, like I don't know if you live in the LA area and you want to meet some healthy singles. I feel like Air right? Like I feel like there's so many good looking people at Air One. Like yeah. I can't show up to Air One how I show up to Ralph's. Ralph's <laughs> Safeway Albertson's Walmart. <laughs> Literally, I roll I, I roll out of bed and show up. I don't care. Air One, I feel like I have to like put myself together. No, but I, I do, there's a part of me that doesn't like that. I'm like, oh, this much effort just to go to the, like the freaking grocery store. I know it's become like, like uh, such a thing, and it's like, Mixed. and I've said this before, and it's like I don't like Air One because it's cool. Like I was into eating healthy in middle school. I would be like, oh, I got yeah, organic guys. chips. I got like. You know what I mean? And now it's like trendy to be healthy. And it's like, oh, I'm at Air One. But it's like, it's about the food, not like the, yeah. how you look yeah. when you go. But I appreciate yeah. it. I'd love to meet like a. That's a, true. It's so oh, super I mean, like what I can't. I'd love to meet like an in shape, like hot, yeah. nice bully. My cousin was saying that my cousin's like, cause she's so into f- uh, fitness. She's a fitness trainer. And she was like, honestly, I'd probably come here every day and just find myself some guy, like you uh-huh. said, like-minded, yeah. you know, no, he's no, he probably has a well, good job. Cause, cause you have spending Equinox that money. right next, right above in the same complex. So people come from Equinox, Equinox, Equinox. to Air One. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I like it. But sometimes those guys are a little too hoity toity for me. Like a little bit agree, too, yeah. like, there's, st- has a stick up their ass. Yeah. You know? I agree. I and I'm know. not into the bougie at all. So, like, some of them are a little too bougie for me. And, like, okay, I don't know. Like, if I get <sighs> I down. Know. I think you, you like that more. I do. I'm undetermined, undecided. Undecided. Yeah. I'm, I'm undecided. Yeah. I, I don't, can't, I, don't I can't do a bougie guy. I don't know. I think I'm more like, like on when we had Renee, I was like, you know what? A construction worker, a blue collar, get your hands dirty, yeah. build me a truck, be a cowboy. Yeah. I don't know. That's like hot. I like both. I think like there's, I think there could be a good mix. I feel like I like someone who likes that. There, there's a difference. I like someone who likes the finer things in life. Mm-hmm. I learn more and more. I don't want someone that's cheap like me. I don't want that because I'm frugal. I'm really frugal, but I feel Mm -hmm. like in life, I just, I don't want that anymore for myself. Mm -hmm. Um, And like the older I get, I'm like, I don't want that. And so I think for me, there has to be a mix. I feel like Mm -hmm. the guy needs to be down to earth, but like also like the finer things. For sure. Yeah. And that's, I don't know. There's all kinds of kinds. Oh my God. They're, 100% 100% but I don't need someone that's always wearing like Gucci and Prada and everything on, on all the different like the hat the shoes the bracelet that I don't need any of that just someone that like likes to gift me those things <laughs> <laughs> see I think so it's your your love language that you like to receive gifts I don't know what my love language is I haven't really figured that out honestly yeah it's hard to figure out. I need I feel to. like I like a little bit of all. I, I can't just pinpoint. See, I'm not as much like I don't want gifts. I just want like 
your physical touch yeah. and time and like attention like gifts yeah. i'm like i can get my own stuff i have so much stuff i don't like stuff so it's just like yeah yeah i don't know i wanted to bring this up to you this just came up on my phone it says chipotle ceo makes major announcement about portion sizes it says they're gonna Ch- give smaller no less. They're saying Chipotle CEO addresses recent criticism over the chain's portion sizes on a call with investors Wednesday, announcing they plan to retrain and re-coach restaurant operators who may be skimping out on the portions, which I felt like for a long time, that is so true. I go to Chipotle and they, I'd be like, chicken, please. And they'd be like, okay, and put like five pieces on mm-hmm. or like, just any little thing. They always just like skimp out on the things. Yeah. And you're like, can I just have a little bit more? I always yeah. ask for more. I'm like, can you add a little bit I'm more? I'm always like shy to ask. I'm like, mm-hmm. or like when they put the guac or the queso in, I'm like, fill it all the way up. That drives me insane. I'm like, yeah. push it down yeah. and fill it up. And then da, 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 do. Yeah. Anyways, I love that. Another reason why I like Chipotle all of a sudden yeah, I again. Love Chipotle. <laughs> Speaking of Chipotle, I've like, I had this like come to Jesus moment with myself. And I was like, I've lived in LA for two years the hub of like amazing restaurants and I go to Chipotle all the time yep. and I'm like my order at Chipotle comes out to about $20 because I get the queso the guac yep. I do it up okay and I'm like but there's like cute little sandwich shops or cute little local places that are like the same or cheaper yep. so I'm like I'm really like gonna make myself just like try to step out and like find cool places to eat because mm-hmm. like I don't know if I'll live here forever so I like want to try but I always find myself going back to I Chipotle know. I'm like I think it's because like a, we're creatures of habit and it's comfortable and Every I know time. what to give, I know what I'm experience gonna experience there, but yeah. I don't know like I want to find like especially around here even yeah. there's like cute oh my god there's so bagel many shops sandwich shops like pasta I'm like I don't know so that's like what I'm gonna it's try so to do. true while you're here take advantage of yeah. like all the food I mean it's always Chipotle Panda Jersey Mike's the places you Love can find literally anywhere okay sweet green which also i didn't realize they have them in yeah. colorado arizona i'm like i need i don't know that's like my challenge for myself it's like i'm already spending yeah. even jersey mike's my order comes out to like 20 bucks i'm like why i could get like anyway right. that's just how i feel i think well, like the and, and to support small businesses too like you know these chains are fine they'll be fine right. i didn't have netflix on my tv but, like, the other day, it was so weird. I turned on my Roku, and, like, I didn't press anything, and Netflix turned on, and my sister's Netflix was logged in. Like, I don't know what happened what? or how that happened. I'm not going to ask questions. But, like, it was so weird because I didn't have Netflix. I tried logging into my friends, and what? then they cracked down. You can't share. Pa- I don't know what happened. I'm so confused. Like, I turn on Roku. I don't press anything. It goes directly to Netflix, and it says Sylvia. And I was like, okay, I have Sylvia's Netflix. This is amazing. So I started watching the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader show. Oh, you did, yeah. because yeah, I used to watch the CMT one, yeah. the old one. And I saw the part where you're talking about the, the girl that was short and they let her go. Okay, and now thoughts? I like I have more sympathy because she was really good yeah. and really cute and like devoted her whole life to the Thank franchise. You. And I'm like, I was picturing, I thought it was like Rockettes. They're like five eleven no. and then there's like a little like They were saying, oh, it looks like a little kid trying to catch up. I'm like, she looks... I thought she was a better dancer than some of the the vets. My point. The veterans. I like Charlie, the redhead. I was really sad to see her go. I think she's a beautiful dancer. Um, And then Reese. I like Reese. I think she's like... a yeah, very good you, dancer. I figured you'd say her. But she's <laughs> so good. Like, she, yeah. she like... I don't know. Like, some dancers you yeah. watch and you're just like... And, like, I'm not a good dancer, but I can recognize, like, I know what good technique is because I grew up in, like, a dancing family. My sister was a professional dancer. I went to, like, one of the best dance studios in Scottsdale. So, like, I can tell, like, good technique. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. But, like, she, like, totally, like, her body just moves the right way. So, they're, I don't know. Who are your favorites? Um, I liked the main brunette girl that ended up getting engaged. I, so I didn't watch it all the way to the end. Okay. She's, but is she one of the veterans who helped kind of teach the yeah, stuff? Yeah, she was one of the she's veterans. She, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. She helps out that little girl. Um, I thought she was she was my favorite. Okay. I had yeah. a few that annoyed me, but I'm just going to keep that to myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so I like it was such a fun show to watch. And I feel like it'd be fun to get one of the girls on the show. I know we should. Like, because I was like creeping and I saw because I, I didn't watch it till the end. And I the last I watched was when Charlie, the redhead, got cut. 
But then I saw Charlie's Instagram. It looks like this year she made it. She's on the team. Oh. I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool. Maybe we can get one of the girls That'd be cool. on the pod. Like Try. through Zoom because they're in Texas, obviously. Oh, well, it's fun. so intense, though. And I was surprised to find out how much they actually get paid. So I was like, it's like more intense than it needs to be. Like these girls still have to have jobs yeah. while. But of course it comes with like yeah. calendars and appearances and like sponsorships. Oh yeah. There's or whatever. so much appeal. I get it. Yeah. If I was so, a good dancer and like I was top notch, I would do it. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. No, totally. It's such a prestigious thing, but I always thought like they'd at least get paid more per game, you know, I like know. the, the Cowboys, it's one of the most, it's the most lucrative team. Yeah. So like they can afford it. Yeah. So I was like, I want to advocate to pay your dancers because they're literally destroying their bodies to do this. You know, I was the most disappointed knowing that they are not allowed to have any kind of relationship with the football players. That to me was the most disappointing. I didn't get to that part. Oh my yet. god! Did they well, talk about that on the show. They, no, not really. They talked about it on the last show, and then I read about it. It's like in their contract, they I like think cannot. It's they very cannot. Smart. Like, can you? It's imagine? smart. I know, it's but like, like, how cute! Like a Dallas cheerleader and a so Dallas cute. player. Ah! Can they date other players from other teams? I don't know. Because like, imagine like they are dating one of the players, but they're having like a bad day, or they're fighting the player's gonna like not perform at the highest level the dancer's not gonna perf like i don't know at least for me i would be like oh, i don't want to cheer for him he sucks i just like, think that's so i just think that'd be so cute then you can like dress up for halloween with <laughs> with your guy that you like from two years ago you can be a cowboy i did that i dated this guy and he is a hardcore cow um dallas cowboys football fan uh -huh. and for his birthday i bought on amazon a dallas cowboys cheerleader outfit uh -huh. and he was like get ready for the best 10 seconds of your life like he was so <laughs> the next <laughs> show i want you to watch if you haven't watched it is the perfect wife have you watched it yet no what's <gasps> that oh it's on netflix it's so good i, I don't remember oh no i think yes, it's Hulu. yes oh my gosh yeah sherry papini yeah yeah i watched that oh you did i did the perfect watch wife? the sherry papini yeah on hulu about the the kidnapping that never did happen yeah yeah oh okay i feel bad for her husband I don't know. I think he's up to no good, too. He was. I don't think he's not bad, either. No. I thought he was kind of cute. Next. I like that they set it up and made it seem like he was in on it, and then... I it thought it was so wasn't. good. So if you're listening to this, definitely go watch. Yeah, the perfect, perfect wife, wife on Hulu about Sherry Papini. Oh my gosh, Who, she's nuts. I feel like she should still be in jail longer. Yeah, um, she um, planned her own kidnapping. Yeah. She staged a kidnapping. Why yield? Staged it, All yeah. To be, I mean, we we won't spoil it, but it, that we'll leave it at that. But it's just when you see what happened to her, like you're gonna think, who does? Like, why? Who does this? No, there's some gotta be mental health issues there. Yeah. And before we wrap this up, I want to ask you: Are you excited for the 2024 Olympics? <laughs> you're gonna say something else? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? The election. <laughs> That too, I guess. <laughs> it's because I said it in my news. I don't know. I was voice. like, "Where is this headed?" No, this Olympics. is not that kind of podcast. No, the Olympics. Um, yeah, I uh, yeah, of course. But I love watching the gymnasts. It's the only uh -huh. one I pretty much watch, yeah. or the uh, swimming. Same. I only watch the gymnastics. Yeah, I love watching the I gymnasts. Oh, oh my gosh. god, that's like one thing. Yeah. If like if I could have any wish or any skill, it would be to be like a gymnast and be able to be flexible and tumble i just like mm -hmm. it's so fun to watch did you hear that they have cardboard beds that way they don't have sex i saw something like that because yeah. i heard or i read that the olympics are just one big orgy like they all have sex with each other yeah like all the athletes yeah and then i also heard that they sent a bunch of male condoms and female condoms what's a female condom i, I don't know i've never heard of it before but if someone just Leave told to me this men. we have to do enough already i'm actually gonna look that up real quick it's Hold on. So the Olympics are like the most prestigious athletic games ever. Aren't you like supposed to be on your head top a game, but they're over there just like sleeping around with each other. Sometimes are it's they good. sleeping with the opponents with the opponent opposing? Oh yeah, team? it really is. What? It's the vagina condom. Okay. So I guess you just use a FEMA condom is as easy as slip in sexy time, remove and dispose. Like, so how does this work? Hmm. Latex free, um, ninety five percent efficiency rate. Wow. Okay. Good. To oh, know. it's a prescription. Interesting. Zero out of pocket cost with the prescription. You can get F C two for as little as zero with insurance. This is telehealth. not sponsored. We're literally seeing this for the first time. 
Wait, I want to see how you do it, though. Tension insert. The inner ring sits behind your pubic bone. Whoa. See, that freaks me out, though, to have to, like... I don't know. I don't like that. Oh, I would. To- I think it's incredible. Freaks me out. Like, no, I think it's great. But like for myself, I don't. I don't know. Twist the outside of the condom. Pull to remove. Wow. So, anyways, so I guess the um, the Olympics is sending a bunch of female condoms and male condoms. I I know, but I don't understand what is sexy about the Olympics that makes people want to hook up with each other. I would be so like in the zone of wanting to do my best and win. Oh, please. No, you would. Especially with a hot guy and someone you were so into. No. You get so distracted. Not if I, like... If we a had gold a gig before and you were like, ah, so sad about If a gold boys. medal was on the line. What about your voice and performance was I on was the line? I was still there. Still and I, I was still there. Once but I you got, weren't giving your best. Once I, once I got on that stage, it was game over. I forgot about the person. No, that's not <laughs> true. You make things up. I'm ready to go again. Get some food. Maybe Chipotle. I know every I always say this every time. Chipotle needs to sponsor every episode. I'm okay. putting it out there that eventually we will. And I love Chipotle, but I'm going to go try something new. Um, Where are you going to go? Well, I actually went to Trader Joe's a few days ago and I, t- I got a ton of food. I got a ton of like their frozen meals are so good and fun. So I'm just going to like make my own food. Well, anyways, yeah. it's time for food. It's food time, folks. Podcasting makes us hungry. <laughs> It does. It makes me hungry. Um, but thanks anyway. for watching and listening and hope that you enjoyed. And also, I want to um, mention this, that we love seeing all your comments and likes because recently I've been scrolling through and I'm like, oh, my gosh, look at all these people. They all yeah. commented like the nicest, sweetest things. So keep them coming. It literally means listening. the world that you're listening and engaging. Yes. And it's it, it shows that like what we're doing is really entertaining and it helps to keep us going. Um, that was really cool. So anyway, yeah, follow us on all the socials if you want to DM us. We always look at our DMs and respond at Heartland Ray for our comedy stuff and for podcast content at Excuse My Friend. And subscribe, leave a review, show us some love, and we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.